Hello friends, welcome to Pharma Talkers. Myself P. Shagrawal and uh, today I am going to discuss on GABA as a neurotransmitter. So my flow of content will be like this. Uh, introduction, receptor, anxiety, drugs. So GABA is a particularly an abundant which is uh, about uh, 10 micromole per gram in tissue in nigrostriatal region but occurs at lower concentration that is about 2 to 5 micromole per gram throughout the grey matter. So GABA A receptor belongs to the same structural class as that of the nicotinic acetylcholinergic receptor and of which it exists as a pentamer uh, and alpha 1 beta 2 gamma 2 alpha 2 beta 3 gamma 2 and alpha 3 beta 3 gamma 2 are the subtypes which is by far the most abundant uh, overall which is uh, found in the brain so the figure uh, you could see uh, it represents about the synapse of the uh, between uh, of the gaba between post and the presynaptic neuron uh, starting with glutamine which is converted into the glutamate followed by the gaba which is taken up into the uh, vesicle by the transporter that is VGAT which is important uh, because uh, GABAergic neuron and the astrocyte taken up by the GABA by specific transporters and it is this that uh, rather than GABA transaminase uh, which is an enzyme that removes the GABA after it has been released and as a result of which uh, through exocytosis the GABA uh, is released uh, uh, and, uh, and also through the transporter that is GAT and which act on the channels that is the three type of channel which is GABA B which is uh, considered to be as a metabotropic GABA A which is uh, inotropic and GABA C is inotropic as well and thereby uh, the response is achieved the transport is inhibited by guvacin and the nipicotinic acid so gamma hydroxybutyrate occurs naturally in the brain as a side product of the GABA synthesis and as a synthetic drug it was found to favor the bodybuilders in uh, evoking the release of the growth hormone and uh, based on its uh, euphoric and uh, disinhibitory effect and as a result of which it is believed to activate the GABA B receptors uh, through the conversion into the GABA and uh, thus it is also found to bind in uh, growth hormone binding receptor sites so friends this is uh, important uh, if we are discussing about GABA the sleep cycle which is uh, involved uh, 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 in the, as a neurotransmitter so starting uh, with uh, phase 1 uh, as you could see the interim between the consciousness and the sleep uh, followed by the phase 2 in which the heart rate slows and the brain does lose the compli complicated task uh, which is uh, occurs after the 5 to 15 minutes and uh, then phase 3 which occurs after 15 minutes so moving into the non REM that is uh, rapid eyeball movement sleep or you could see the delta stage where the body makes the repairs and then moving to stage 4 where body temperature and the BP decreases and then moving into the REM sleep that is the rapid eyeball movement which is marked by the dreams uh, which is approximately of the 19 minutes uh, after the first feeling sleepy and thus increase in eye movement, heart rate, breathing, BP and the temperature. So total sleep cycle marks about 90 minutes. So this is also the uh, second figure which is more or less same uh, but uh, slightly different uh, in details like uh, in stage 1 you could see the percentage of the sleep that is 4 to 5 percent. Uh, and stage 2 that is 45 to 55 percent which is uh, uh, mostly involved uh, and step 3 which is 4 to 6 percent step 4 which is 12 to 15 percent and uh, step 5 which is 20 to 25 percent so the waves of the sleep will be like this data theta delta theta alpha beta which deals with the sleep emotion relaxation and anxiousness respectively so these are the sleeping stage and uh, this pink color uh, determines the deep wave sleep and uh, this uh, re uh, yellow color determines the REM sleep. So uh, then moving on to the next slides, mutation of the single amino acids that is the hysterine uh, at the position 101 in the alpha 1 subunit eliminates the benzodiazepine sensitivity uh, and thus eliminating the sedative amnesic and anticonvulsive activity of the benzodiazepines. Whereas mutation in alpha 2 which is mainly expressed in the limbic system was found to eliminate the angiolytic and the muscle relaxant effect so an experimental compound that is alpha 1 selective l838417 has been discovered and is proved to be angiolytic effect 
so here you could see friends uh, which is important uh, the site of the GABA uh, where you could see the uh, pentamer subunit that is alpha 1 al beta 2 and the gamma 2 where benzodiazepine bind to gamma 2 and alpha 1 site whereas GABA binds to alpha 1 and beta 2 sites and in mid there is a chloride pore from where the chlorine uh, chlorine passes so this channel is basically a pentamer and to be more specific uh, you could see the other sites of the uh, channel that is GABA antagonist sites channel blocking sites channel modulator sites uh, the sites where the benzodiazepine inverse agonist bind antagonist binds and the uh, agonist binds so which is considered to be as a modulator sites uh, so this pore from which the chloride uh, passes uh, this figure symbolizes the GABA A receptor so the chart uh, you could see friends here uh, uh, there are the two types of the receptor that is GABA A and the GABA B uh, where you see uh, GABA endogenous agonist other uh, has been discussed that is GABA and diazepam progesterone which is a modulatory site in others and here is also GABA uh, other agonists like uh, nusiminol, GABA dexol, uh, diazepam and barbiturates for example alpha zolon antagonist bicyclin and flumazenil which is used in benzodiazepine poisoning the channel blocking uh, which are uh, picotoxin the mechanisms is ligand gated whereas in gamma b it is g protein receptor couple mechanism which is an inhibitory of adenyl cyclase and here you could see other antagonist that is faclofen cgp35348 which is important uh, locations which is widespread and uh, the most involved here in gamma b is pre and post synaptic and the function which is fast IPSP inhibitory postsynaptic potential whereas in GABA B it is both pre and postsynaptic inhibitions uh, follow, uh, that is decreased calcium entry and increased potassium permeability respectively so other sites which is glycine which is considered to be as an inhibitory amino acids the agonist antagonists the effective mechanism location and function is also discussed here so the GABA which produces the inhibitions uh, which act uh, both as a fast point to point neurotransmitter and as an action at a distance neuromodulator. Uh, since it is located in both pre and post synaptic receptor and thus uh, inhibitions occurs. So GABA B receptor which is exists as a dimer consists of the two different subunit. So here comes the anxiety. Uh, there are the different types of anxiety. Basically anxiety means eagerness. So first is general anxiety disorders which is uh, the excessive anxiety lacking in the clear region of the focus. Second is panic disorder uh, which is a sudden attack of the overwhelming fear with marked symptoms like the sweating, tachycardia, chest pain, trembling and choking. Phobias uh, means the strong fears of specific object of the situations like snake, open faces, flying, social interactions. Uh, the fourth one is post traumatic stress disorder uh, which is anxiety triggered by the recall of past and stressful experiences and the last is obsessive compulsive disorder which is compulsive ritualistic behavior driven by irrational anxiety that is fear of contamination which is basically due to the serotonin deficiency so in anxiety reaction occur independently of the external event so here you could see friends the classification of the barbiturates are like this the ultra short acting intermediate acting short acting and the long acting so just remember uh, their duration of the time and uh, just a few drugs like uh, uh, you see here only ultra short acting are useful as an anesthetic agent which is important now coming to this uh, drugs uh, of the benzodiazepine which is also divided on the basis of their uh, life that is ultra short short medium and the long the point to be noted here is that uh, the diazepam is used as an anticonvulsant intravenously and in maniac clonazepam is used and midazolam is used as an intravenous anesthetics so the metabolites of uh, triazolam or midazolam is hydroxylated alprazolam is also hydroxylated nor diazepam uh, which is uh, of uh, diazepam and uh, fluorazepam uh, metabolites is uh, desmethylfluorazepam so benzodiazepine uh, acts selectively on the GABA A receptor which mediates the fast inhibitory synaptic transmission through the central nervous system it acts uh, allosterically uh, 
uh, at the receptor site and thus uh, acting selectively on the GABA A receptor thus facilitate the opening of the GABA and uh, thus increasing the affinity of the GABA for the receptors. The other effect of the benzodiazepine are anterograde amnesia and the taming effect which is used in case of animals. Uh, benzodiazepine decreases the time taken to get to the sleep and whereas it increases the total duration of the sleep. The effect tends to decline when benzodiazepine are taken regularly for one to two weeks. Basically, tolerance comes into play. A rebound worsening of the sleep occurs on discontinuation of the benzodiazepine and an increase in the symptoms like anxiety, tremor and dizziness. In rapid eyeball movement, uh, it was found that uh, dreaming slow wave sleep which corresponds to the deepest level of the sleep when metabolic rate and the adrenal steroid secretions are at their lowest whereas the secretion of the growth hormone is at highest and thus the most hypnotic drug may produce, uh, reduce the proportion of the REM sleep. The main side effect of the benzodiazepines are drowsiness, confusions, uh, amnesia, impaired coordination. So here are the few drugs like uh, flumazenil which is a competitive antagonist of the benzodiazepine poisoning and the side effect of which are seizures. The signs of the benzodiazepine poisoning is respiratory depressions. beta carbolin which is also known as DMCM an inverse agonist at the GABA receptor. Vicuculin which is a competitive antagonist of the GABA A receptor. Buspirone is a partial agonist at 5ST1A receptor which is used in the treatment of various anxiety disorder. It also antagonizes the D2 receptors and does also inhibit the activity of the noradrenergic locus coriolis neurons and thus interfere with the arousal reactions. The main side effect of which are nausea, dizziness, headache and restlessness. Barbiturates causes the death from respiratory and cardiovascular depressions if given in the large doses. And because of the enzyme induction, it is also dangerous to the patient suffering from the disorder like porphyria. So, ondansetron, which is considered to be an 5-ST3 antagonist, is used as an anti-emetic and also shows the angiolytic effect in the animal models, but have not proved efficacious in controlled human trials. So, 5-ST uptake inhibitors like uh, fluozetine and mixed 5-ST or non uptake inhibitors, which are used as an anti-depression drug, also shows the efficacy in the anxiety disorder. Antagonists of the neuropeptide CCK have been tested as angiolytic drugs. Uh, so, cholecystokinin, which is expressed mainly in the areas of the brain stream and midbrain, and that are involved in the arousal mood and emotions, and has been considered to be as a positive mediator or possible mediator of the panic attack. So, here you could see, friends, uh, just a short note like uh, GABA neurotransmitter. Uh, transporter blocker that is uh, GUVA seen nipicotinic acid or beta avenine for garia which is important receptor GABA A of which isoforms are alpha beta delta eta theta uh, sigma GABA B and GABA C the agonist uh, the antagonist and the mechanisms that is uh, fast inhibitory via chloride channel of GABA A GABA B which is pain postsynaptic effect and uh, GABA C which is slow and sustained responses via chloride signal so these are my references and uh, thank you for listening to the lectures for more videos and materials or any queries feel free to subscribe us at www.formatoppers.com